Before we get to this video, Dallas Jenkins just released an email saying that he is going to respond to some of the questions and concerns and comments about uh, The Chosen Season 3's Episode 1 and 2 being played in theaters. And so before you hear the conversation me and Kevin had, know that uh, we had not gotten this information and we are discussing it without any of that knowledge. And we are also going to do a follow-up video uh, after we see Dallas's live stream regarding uh, this subject because uh, we are definitely uh, tuned in and uh, interested in this information. And we are looking forward to season three, uh, but also we're just talking about all the things associated with the show, whether it's the show itself or the things surrounding the production. Uh, we are definitely interested in The Chosen, as you are, and so I just hope that you would appreciate this conversation, even if it might ruffle some feathers or some people might be, uh, you know, like, uh, think maybe we're off track a little bit. Maybe we are, and that's fine, uh, but we love The Chosen. That's always been our heart about this show, so any, any negative comments are simply because we love it so much and we want to see it thrive and be successful and see God move in a mighty way. So enjoy this conversation Kevin and me had about The Chosen being in theaters. I'd like to know why. What what, what if it's not nefarious? Like, what do you think? That... No, I don't think it's, I don't, oh, if it's in nefarious, it's nefarious on the Hollywood side. Here's my concern. Here's here's my issue with this theater thing. One of the things that I've loved the most about The Chosen is that it went against the grain and it went against the norm. It went against the st establishment Hollywood. It, get, it went against how TV shows get made. Yeah. It went against how things go spread, go viral. The fact that he didn't need a theater... He didn't need a cable network. He didn't need Hollywood. He didn't need big name actors. He didn't need any of that. And and God blessed this and propelled it and beyond his wildest imagination, right? Yeah. Why theater? Why go back to the devil? Why go back and taint that and and now now that he's now that it has the, the success that he has. My worry is like, are we do are we doing this so we are be accepted by the world again, so we can say that well we're more successful because now we're in theaters and now we're mainstream. I don't see the point in I I I like the fact I thought there was something greater. Um, I like the testimony of of the chosen, basically telling the devil and the devil system. All you godless theaters, all you godless producers in Hollywood, your sound production, your studios, your whatever, you, we don't need you. God can make a way where there is no way. We don't need, we don't need theaters. I'm more than happy to buy merch. I'm more than happy to donate. I'm buy the DVDs and give on the app and fund this thing. I, I, I have no problem giving them 20 bucks. I don't want to give the devil 20 bucks. Yeah. I don't want to go, I do not want to give these theaters or anyone behind these theaters and the, the godless people that are going to make a dime off of this because they go in the theaters. They, they don't want, they don't care about Jesus. They don't care about the chosen. That's why they're like, if, if, if he's going to go into theaters, I would have told her you're not getting the chosen in any theater unless they go in all the theaters. You promote this in every theater throughout the country yeah just like you do the ones where little girls are dancing on stage and you're promoting pedophilia and homosexuality and every other godless thing if you're gonna you promote the chosen just as hard and just as big as you promote those godless movies and then we'll talk <laughs> but no he's in select theaters that some people might have to drive two hours just to go see it well they don't have to i i don't know like, I, I, I understand that part. I, I get the heart. point. That's the problem, is yeah. that the, the, it, it feels like a compromise. It feels like a step backwards. It well, feels with, without like, him telling us why. Why I know, and that's why I was hoping that maybe you knew, maybe that there was something he put out there to explain. I haven't heard yet. So if, if you know, thing. if you know why he's doing this. Let us know in the comments or yeah. send us a link to whatever it was because we don't know off, off the top of our head right now. Yeah. But it, it from, from from our perspective, I mean, I hear a lot of the things that you're saying and you I agree with many of I them. Mean? At the same time, uh, uh, it is being released for free on the app a few days later. It's not sure. like this is a, you know, see us see the real episodes in, for free in six months. You know, right, right. you have to pay for it. You I get know, it. So. And that's why, like, so that's what I'm trying to, you know, if someone's going to like, well, 
because I was talking about this uh, at dinner with another friend. And so she was like, well, you know, but so many other people might find the chosen. I don't know how many lost people are going to find the chosen. And if you select the others around the country. Well, maybe. I mean, when I went to, you <laughs> mentioned the music thing. Maybe like, I, I went to the music thing with you and yes, it was a full house. Pretty much. Correct. But I think they were already pre-chosen fans. The people that are going to sell out and buy all these tickets are us. The same people who got the app. The same people who same watch people it. The same people that are watching this video right, right. now. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that are going to go buy all those tickets. Yeah. And buy the popcorn. And buy the soda. And the Twizzlers. And the, it, which is fine. But that's just feeding the world. That's yeah. feeding. That is rewarding a world system of entertainment that is feeding a figurative junk into the eyes of the world and our families and our kids for decades. And now let's, let's, let's let them, let's let them get a piece of the chosen pie. No. Well, Why? we don't know how the deal structured. And also, uh, just to play devil's advocate here. Yeah. I mean, I sort of want to see Jesus on the big screen. I ain't mad about that part of it. No, you know? I'm not mad about it. Look, of course. Yeah. Obviously. It'd be great to see this in a theater. Yeah. But I'm just a little disgusted that it's got to be why I just, I don't know. I would just like to know because I'm hoping, you know, part of me is like, surely this isn't that we're not, you know, yeah. he's not getting enough funding because, hey, let's start a you know funding campaign. Let's start, you know, make make the, the, the new season where you got to pay ten ninety nine or nine ninety nine yeah. or nineteen ninety nine for the season. We would all gladly oh, do that. And, and then some. And then some. Yeah, yeah. absolutely right. And if he said, hey, it's 60 bucks to watch the whole season. I, We'd all show I don't, it. I don't think anybody would be like, well, you know yeah. what? And, there, and the ones who couldn't, we'll pay it forward for them. You that, know, like, that's, abso that's absolutely right. And that's the part that I love so much about this. Yeah. That it was this. like, <laughs> It's an evangelism this, tool. For part part of their part of their mission is to be evangelistic, and why That's they created right. this show. And so when you take and when you add money to it, you are no longer, uh, you know. But again, you're not making people go see it in the theater. You are offering it for free. So there, it, it's not cut and dry in the sense of what in, in the sense yeah. of the actions. And again, without the why, it's hard to understand uh, the motives behind what they're yeah. why, why they made this. Now I know that no, I know. they did a fundraiser in theaters, or they're about to do a fundraiser in theaters to try making some money for the Salvation Army, who partnered with yeah. them on this on this. And I don't know if this is part of that or not. Correct. It could, absolutely could be. And 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 that's why I'm like wondering because. And when it's a fundraiser, he's usually always been very vocal about, hey, we're doing this. It's, we're doing this Christmas special. We're doing this thing here. And it's, this is to help raise money. And uh, and great. And that, that gets the Christians to come out absolutely to support the cause. I've not heard anything. And we just watched the end of the preview. Yeah, this is where from he their said why Instagram. they're doing it. This is, so they released the trailer today on their Instagram. Uh, okay. And uh, this says, as you can see from the trailer, uh, they were they were cut back by chain supply issues and COVID delays and other things and weather. Uh, but it says about being in theaters. It says season three picks up uh, where season two left off, uh, where Jesus delivering the most famous sermon in history. What follows are the consequences of living out this teaching. The world changes because of his sermon, and the believers in uh, and enemies of Jesus increase exponentially. Where? Oh, pause. This is I, I was on the wrong. There's like ten paragraphs in this thing. I'm trying okay. to figure it out. Uh, here it says. So this is this is about uh, the trailer being, or the movie, the show being in the theaters. Yeah, first yeah. two episodes. So it says, but as you'll see from the trailer, I believe it was worth it. We launched season three in theaters with episodes one and two coming to most English-speaking countries on November 18th for a limited run on the big screen. It says, don't worry. If you cannot see it in theaters, you'll soon get it for free on our easy streaming services. Uh, so what are you going to see says that's a weird question to yeah. phrase so what are you going to see are you going to see it in theaters or are you going to wait for it on the i don't know what that no i think what are you going to see in the first two episodes oh i got you what are you going to yeah. see what is what is worthy to put on the big but screen the, but there's theater? no yeah there's no there's no answer to why yeah. as to the why yeah. so yeah i'm telling you that that leaves a bad that leaves me a that leaves leaves me as a bit of a icky feeling yeah and and here and what's and this and this is me personally for anyone and i can see how easy it is and i i see this happen with christian artists and Christians in general, when they hit success, is that, and we know somebody that's, you know, that uh, has been his lifelong desire to be a director and, and be in and be, and they so badly want to be accepted by their peers and they so badly want to be in the club. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and there's this, this thing about I'm in theaters. I finally, I finally made the big screen like that. I just hope that Dallas or anyone that that's not their measure of success. Because this is successful. This is powerful. 
in the measure of success is not being celebrated or in the world on a world stage. It is not having Madonna, you know, <laughs> on the same, you know, marquee as you were like, you know, these godless people like what? That is not the mark of success. Having the chosen and, and I hope a lot of other Christians, if they're hearing this, come into agreement. The chosen being in theaters is not a mark of success. It is absolutely not. That is the world's way of doing things. That is the world's standard of success. That is their measurement. Hollywood says you're nobody unless you hit these marks. Yeah. And I don't want Dallas or anyone else buying into that lie. That well, I think chosen... Dallas has been humbled enough. He shared his story enough to understand that. Now, I, I, I definitely uh, agree. It can leave a, a, a sour taste in your mouth a little bit that they're in theaters. But again, I don't think it's too much to get worked up about. I think it's yeah. two episodes. It's free a couple days later. It is just a couple episodes. Now, if they come out next year and they say, you know what? Every every episode is, is in the theaters. This is our you new model. A few foxes in. They spoil the vibe. I'm just... Maybe. I, but this again, could be a... Ro I, without I us hate, knowing the why, it, like no, being I know, so fervently upset about I'm it. I'm just... Is, it's, is, I, I, it's a part It's a part of a... You know, this this mark, I feel like I, want, I wanted this whole thing to go through where we could proudly stand up and say, devil, we didn't need you. Yeah. We never needed you. Look at the success and impact. Well, I don't think that this, this theater had. run is going to make or break this. But this now, but you know, we can't say that. Like it is, it's just part of this thing that now the even the devil of the world can see. Yeah, but you were in theaters. You know, you 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 had this because it wasn't God. Oh. It was it was theaters. It was Hollywood. They helped you. Yeah. They came. Obviously, in it was not Hollywood because it's probably not even playing. Do you know what I mean? But like, yeah. I don't know what. <laughs> what was this negotiation? How did they talk him into this? What? What was why? Like, I don't. I don't know. And I, I. And I hope there's a really good explanation. I hope there's a really good reason behind it. Um, and if if they came back and said, Kevin, every single cent that we're making off of this, we're putting towards something that has to do with has nothing to do with our pockets. It's going to, towards some cause or going towards something that would like ease your mind about things like no. what, what, would, what would be the thing that makes you feel uh better about it um i would be i think well we did this to get something out of them we didn't want to be in theaters but we agreed to put them in theaters and agreed that for the first two uh, episodes could be in theaters and only that because there was something they they got out of it that we got we got a bigger better deal you know this nego the, the, i hope there was a negotiation and I hope the chosen, I hope Dallas came out the winner in that negotiation and it wasn't the other way around. Please, please let me have at least two. So that episodes. makes more sense. Please so let me have at least two episodes in the theater. Please just accept that. You know, we're big now. We're big. Like, can we please just, you know, that's what I'm worried about. Cause a lot, that's how a lot of independent films. Like if you get just in select theaters for just a, a small release, like that's a big deal for like we. we Maybe they're going it. in theaters so they can win awards. I, I, Maybe I, God wants to I, highlight them on the big screen or on, on the awards just, season. So maybe yeah. that's it. Maybe that he's like, look, I, uh, you know, I'll let you do it, but I want, I want to be included in all the awards. You can't, you can't be uh, selected for certain awards. Without I mean, being the devil's the one that's voting. <laughs> Yeah. I don't see the, the awards. I'm just saying, anything. I'm just throwing out some ideas Look, of why it could be happening. I just, if, I, if he came out and said, you know what, Kevin, uh, yeah. uh, this run in theaters, they've given us a hundred percent of the profit. Yeah. The theater makes nothing. And if this it. was such a deal that I couldn't pat, like as long as Dallas and the chosen came out ahead and that the devil had to come asking him, came begging him and completing. And, and he came out smelling like a rose on this deal. Then I'm all for it. Well, amen there. But if it's, but I, my fear is, it's this. I know the. I'm devil, gonna be optimistic. Look, the devil, the de, devil does not play fair, and the devil has no respect for the church or the chosen. Yeah. So I find it hard to believe. But, look, look. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, it, 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 it does, it does, it's a, it does. It does irritate me a little bit. Yeah, I can I'm tell. not going to lie. That's okay. That's why we're talking about it, though. And so <laughs> let us know in the comments what your thoughts are about The Chosen Being in theaters. Also, let us know what you thought of the trailer, the first trailer, any questions you have uh, about something you saw, and we can cover it in our next Chosen Explained video. And, and no matter what we said today, we will be in theaters on November 18th to watch uh, episode one and two of The Chosen, and we will be bringing you our reviews and our thoughts on uh, what happened in those two episodes. So uh, thanks for watching today, and we pray that you discover a future and a hope for your life today.